Hello everyone and welcome to, I guess, my next game series. That seems interesting. Killer Frequency. And we'll see how this goes. It seems very promising. It's very pretty. I know that. And it's probably going to be interesting. So let's just get into it. Supposed to be very retro. <laughs> and we're here, and I was gonna take a drink. Well, screw me then. Alright, movement, yep. Camera, cool. Had to turn the sensitivity down. Um, R2 to pick up. Okay. Oh, that does something. Okay. I got a bottle now. Uh, hold on. Oh. Right stick and hold. That's awkward. Can I throw this away? Can I be a good person? Oh, I guess I can look at it. How do I throw this away? Oh, I sat it down. <sighs> Fine then. I feel about that being right stick. Um, drop, throw, oh. You can hold two objects, swap objects with L1. Oh, that's what that was. Hold L2 to hold to place object release when in a valid location. Um, oh, I can crouch. Okay, can we try throwing this away again? Yeah, I know. Gameplay. Um, okay, uh, what was it? To throw, place, some, I guess I cannot throw it away. I guess that's what you're telling me. Drop. Yeah, it wouldn't let me drop it. Come back here, bottle. Um, hold the place, yeah. I'm still not gonna remember this. Oh, there we go! And the, just the throw would not work before. All right, well we can close this now. Cool. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice whistling. You got wraps. Come on, I just threw a bottle away. I was trying to be a good Samaritan. Ugh. Frickin' rats. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I had to hit it three times for me to throw it away. What am I doing here? Inspect. Yeah, I think I got that down. Funny you never taught me how to crouch, but I had to do that. Uh, there we go. Um, wait, what was it? Left stick to rotate object while in spec. Oh, you gotta hold it. Alright, K fan. Okay, I don't want to throw this, but I. Oh, it's, it's unbreakable. Let's see his notes. I want to read the notes. Oh, there's the crouch. Why are you telling me now? Freight elevator only. Alright. Anybody have a sense we're about to get killed? Opening doors. R2 and right stick. Yeah, I really don't appreciate it. Why does it swing both ways? That's not how those doors work. Oh. Bruh, was I right about getting killed? Hi! Where did you go? Oh, hi. Um. 
breathe limitlessly. Well, I'm good. Killer frequency, everybody. Game over. We're dead. Doubt it. No, there's more. Shouldn't have killed me. I was trying to be a good Samaritan and clean up the bottles of alcohol. Full bottles of alcohol. What was up with that even? Man, this is a long loading screen, but all right. <sighs> no, don't freeze on me. Don't do anything. Yeah. Radio you, station. Uh, or something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling or. I don't know. Uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, Ooh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh, frick. Um, hold on. Hold, wait. <laughs> Let me get this one. Frick. All right. How to respond. Let's do the checks. Uh, navigate with that. All right. Let's All right, do the checks. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Oh my really? lord. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. I was having Buckle fun. Buckle folks, we're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Wait, wait, uh, oh, hold on, can I, how do I put it back? Oh, that's... I wanted to see what we got. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Yeah, but I wanted to look through them! How do I look through them? I have the option for- oh... I hate that. The There's record box is on the left, and the yep. record player Sh is on the right. Shut up! Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Then Can't hit play. Can't see all, that's what sucks. Alright, 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 alright. I don't remember the interact buttons. I, I'm telling you. Uh, how did I do it? Oh. Play button. Got it. Great. Hear it. Now turn it off. But I can't hear it. Oh god. Um, this, this one's a volume. It's all the way up, really? Press the stop button <sighs> on the record player. Alright, lady. You're about to annoy me. Okay. There we go. Alright, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. I'm guessing this All right, yep, Peggy. phone lines. Ready for up you here. on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. I'd... Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it there when you go. need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't like, invented seriously? it yet. Oh. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I hit it. I labeled it for you. I hit it. Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. The what? This? There we go. 
Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, hmm. we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. I but tried. let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Do I have to have square for this? Sliders oh no, should be right it's the freaking right stick. Like That's directly right. in front. That's gonna bother me so much. Ten Play a song, grab the sliders, and move them up and down. Go next. Yeah, I did that. Oh, oh there's the music. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, right, let's now get what? the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. Oh. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Yes, that's Okay, true. Forrest, shut the music off. So demanding, lady. I hope I get better at that. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and Guess that scream. scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Ah! Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Ooh. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Wait, tape? Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play oh, the tape? I think. I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Uh. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. I have hey, a tape. Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, mm. I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... I am trying to put this back. There we go. I... Oh, God. Oh. Uh... Really? Yes. Peggy, you want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest. Just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. That quite... Oh, God. Dang it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Don't do the folio. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. <laughs> call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Yep, that's all right. Enjoy that. Time to go on the journey that is. Last Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. You call it amazing? Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Hmm. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh. Good Time evening. to turn the music off. Oh, right. Um. 
God, why is it so... Ah. <laughs> there we go. 189.16, the stream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Why are you calling me? Uh... Welcome to the show, Leslie. <laughs> are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. Oh. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I mm -hmm. find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oof. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did Especially to him. when we're on did he air. Fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Um... I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops were supposed to do? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Oh, that's fun. Um, why me? No, this is a bad idea. You can count on me. Oh, you die mean. Yes, why me? But at the same time, I don't know. Yeah, we'll go I'm a radio me. talk show host, Leslie. That too. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Except it's saving like people's lives. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. Uh. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. I'm sure the cop has the other... Try to break down the door, find a way in the cell, find another set of keys. There's got to be said. another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Dead cop? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... Unfortunately. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... 
I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. Yeah. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff up. Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? We are still on air. Um... <laughs> I'm quitting if this is a prank. Um... I think we're gonna be handling this all night if we're gonna be the 911 person. I think we can handle this. Yeah, we'll just say I'm quitting. I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like... Like this, happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. I want to know how she's still alive and you killed one. The other, the person killed one. If it's, it's the right thing to do, you're leaving, we're on our own. Well, obviously we're going to be on our own. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? <laughs> Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? At least we're in it. Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but... He's dead, right? Right? With that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The Whistling Man! The Whistling Man? Who's the Whistling Man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s, wore that mask. But he's dead! He's... what the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... I know nothing. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way! Um, lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Uh, run for it down the station. Take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh, Three cops. Into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But mm -hmm. wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? It's a good the question. The whistling man is right there. It's a good question. Uh, gun. I'm sure the dead cop doesn't have his gun. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, frick. I'm sure she does, though. I don't Deputy know Martinez her. surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Oh. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Oh, the... okay. I... shit. It's empty. He oh, must have well. emptied it trying to defend himself. Weapon lockup. See any other weapons? She probably can't get the weapon. Oh, that's that. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. 
I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Taser! <laughs> taser Where all the way! Taser! Taser! I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. no not. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh, he was knocking? I don't think he left. Can you still see the whistling man or be careful? I want uh, the first and third. Be, be careful. careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? Nope. No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If mm. I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you Don't say that. Uh, good luck. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. We are still God, on air. I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say... This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Oh, well, sure they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Even being a 911 person? Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Uh, Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, yep. <laughs> We're, here. We're here. Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. <laughs> but yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. <laughs> Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Uh, oh, what oh God, that is. The whistling! Yep. Uh, Leslie, drive. drive. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oh uh... my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But she was but an operator. Oh. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Oh, I'm sure. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way? Yikes. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, that long? Yep. Yeah. We'll do, we'll do our, our best. best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now. Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Oh, I'm not so sure anyway, about that. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest and Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Yeah. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Everybody listening has heard everything. Folks, Shocking you heard it here. Event. We've mm -hmm. got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. Mm -hmm. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now... Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Oh, frick. Um, sure, we're gonna take this one off. Uh, I don't know how to put it back, though. Hold on, I'm bad at this. Okay, I guess we're throwing it on the floor. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I gotta get better at this. Play somehow. a record for us. I'm working on it. What? Where'd that one go? Yeah. 